Hello, this is a short demonstration on how to log on to your Panther portal for the first time and how to register for classes through your Panther portal. During this presentation, you may pause at any time so you can perform the required functions. In your search engine, please type in www.morton.edu. That will take you to our homepage. Take some time to familiarize yourself with our homepage. It has important information relating to the school, financial aid, scholarships, programs of study, contact information, and links to the bookstore, theater, Panther portal, Blackboard, and your student email. To begin the login process, please click on Panther portal. If you already know your user ID and password, please enter them now. If you have never logged into your account, please click on the highlighted area entitled, click here to find my user ID. You will now be taken to this screen and asked to input your last name and either your social security number or your Morton College student ID number. Your student ID number is a six digit code assigned to you after you have applied online. You may have received it in an email or in person from our Office of Admission and Records. Please input the information and click on Submit. You will then be taken to another page and issued your user ID. To obtain your password, you have to understand how our computer system works. After you have applied online, the computer generates a default password. It utilizes your first name, your last name, the last four digits of your social security number, and the month and day of your birth. So for example, if my name is Jane Smith and the last four digits of my social security number are 8989 and my birthday is March 10th, my default password would be capital J little s 8989 if you've never issued Morton College your social security number, please input four zeros, zero, 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 zero. You can now return to your login page and input your new user ID and password and click on sign in. If you find an error message, please contact the MIS department. Their information is listed at the bottom of the screen. If you're able to get into your portal, welcome. This is your personal student homepage. This is where you'll find access to your grades, schedule, unofficial transcripts, payment plan, Blackboard, and what we are discussing today, registration. Please take note of the announcements listed under your email. You can see each day if your teacher has canceled class and also what events are going on on campus. Please direct your attention to the section entitled Panther Central. This is where we'll find access to your grades, schedule, and registration. So please click on Registration. You will now see more options show up on your screen. We want to search and register for sections, so please click on Search slash Register for Sections. You will now have the opportunity to input the information for the semester you wish to enroll in. First, you need to choose a term. Morton College has a spring, summer, and fall term. Subjects need to be chosen. Subjects are things like business, English, mathematics, history, etc. You'll also need to know a course number. Course numbers are the level the class is taught at. So it could be 101, 111, 105, and so on. For this example, I've chosen the Spring 2015 term, and then when I went down to the next section, I chose to input English and typed in course number 101. Then I went to the next line and chose Mathematics, and then input 105 is the course number. Then I went to the next line and chose Business, and then typed in one, one, one. After you've put in the class information and term that you would like to register for, click on Submit at the bottom of the page.
you will now be able to view all of the courses that meet your search criteria. Please take note of the times and dates that classes meet and if the class is open or closed. If under status you see that the class is closed, you are not allowed to register for it. You may only register for classes that are listed as open. So now it's time for you to decide what time of classes that you wish to take. Morton College has classes that run Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, Tuesdays or Thursdays, one day a week, Monday through Saturday, and we also have online classes as well. Here you'll see that I've chosen to click on two classes for this example. I've chosen to select Business 111 Section 1D and English 101 Section 1B. Then at the bottom of the page, scroll down and click on Submit. You are now at the Action page. This is where you can see the classes you have specifically chosen to review. So for today's example, Business 111 and English 101. You'll see under Action there's two boxes. They're drop-downs, so within there you'll see several different options. So please choose Register for each class. Then you will click on Submit at the bottom of the page and you will formally be registered for the classes you have selected. If after you click on Submit and you receive an error message that states, Prerequisite not started, please contact the Advising Department for assistance. If you'd like to print out your current class schedule, please return to your Panther Portal homepage. Go back to the Panther Central section and click on Academic Profile. You'll now see many options have dropped down below Academic Profile. My Class Schedule is listed at the bottom. When you click into My Class Schedule, it'll take you to another page and ask you which semester you would wish to print out your schedule for. Highlight the correct semester and print that page. Other important information located under Academic Profile is your student ID number if you ever forget it, your final grades, grade point average, and your unofficial transcript. It's important to note that at Morton College we do not mail home report cards, so after you take your finals you would like to know what grades you receive, so you'll tab into Academic Profile and click into Grades and choose the appropriate semester. So that's your Panther Portal, that's how you log in, and that's how you register. Please remember to check your Panther Portal every day for important emails and announcements coming from the school. And if you ever have any questions or concerns about your Panther Portal, please contact our MIS department. Thank you very much.